Jacob Williams. Welcome to my channel, American Made 1999. Today I'll be showing you how to field strip an AR-15. So, the first thing that you're going to want to do, make sure your rifle is always on safe. That's the number one priority. Have your rifle on safe. So, to first, you're, what you're going to do, after you're ensured that you're on safe and that your chamber is clear, is you're going to want to punch these two pins out there's a pin right here and there's a pin right here and they don't come all the way out they just come until they're set so you're going to want to use you can use a screwdriver or just a punch or whatever but i'm just going to use a screwdriver from my pocket knife all you have to do is push those down and the first couple times that you do these they're going to be really stiff and really hard to do because you still have all your paint on there and so you still have to you have to break away all that paint i personally like to um, pop both pins and take my upper and lower receiver apart some people i know like to just um, keep the upper attached just by your front pin i do not so let's just close these pins that's another thing you always want to do because if you drop it then you have a chance of it breaking and we're going to set that down so we're going to move into the upper what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pull your release right here on your charging handle pull that back it's kind of hard to do with my scope and then you have your bolt carrier and your charging handle so once you have your bolt carrier separated what you're going to want to do the first thing you want to do is this little pin here you want to remove, and the best way that I've found to do it, I just take a pair of hemostats, I use bent tipped ones. Just grab your pin here, slide that out, fairly easy to do. And then you're gonna wanna take out your hammer. Or your pin rather, sorry. And then after you have your pin removed, you can see that pin. You just rotate that until it's sideways right on, underneath of your gas tube and once that's sideways just pull that out and then you can pull this out and you're ready to clean it you just want to scrub down in there wipe all this off get all the carbon off and then every once in a while uh, if you, as often as you can make sure you lube that up to make sure all the part the all the parts are functioning correctly and so that nothing uh, nothing's too stiff and it fires good the next thing that you're going to want to clean is your upper receiver and your barrel so all you have to do depending on what kit you have you can either push it through your barrel and down in but may, most people like to use the uh pulling method where all you do is you drop your little cleaner through pull the string through the end so that way it mimics the way that a bullet goes through and it's the same way as um, cleaning as it is shot and then you scrub all that out scrub it all clean scrub it real good you can see there's another part down in there that you want to clean out real the silver part right there yep you want to scrub that off make sure it's all clean full of all carbon just so that way your rifle lasts longer keeps it clean keeps it well functioning so moving on to the lower receiver it's kind of optional it's not very uh mandatory it's not too big of a deal if you forget it no big issue so what you're going to want to do is you're going to be cleaning this spring all you have to do is push down on here and you will be after you have that push down push down on this pin right there let's see if we can get that focus yeah right there so we get that push down it's kind of tough to do just because depending on your finger size i have that finger so there we go we have that and pull that out you can clean that grease it all down and make sure it works real good and um, operates well so you can see that and then you can take it all the way out but I'm just gonna push this back in and that just pops in there you just you don't have to worry about pushing that back down as you're going in you just push it in so that is your lower receiver. Now let's put her back together. The first thing that you're gonna want to do when putting it back together is reassemble your bolt carrier. So all you have to do is slide this right in here. 
making sure that the hole is pointed upwards and then I'll just then push it in the rest of the way then put the pin back in with it sideways at first and then rotate it so that way you can put your pin that fires your AR back in you're going to want to use you're going to want to place in this skinny end first some people go over top and some people go underneath it's just depending on what you feel most comfortable with make sure that slides in there there you go slid in there real easy and then finally all you have to do is place your pin into this little hole here that you'll see it right there just place that in and you're good so if you have trouble getting this pin in the best thing to do is give it a little jiggle as you're putting it in and it should just slide in if you're having to force it that means you're probably not doing it right and you know if you have it correctly by when you push this forward you see this end of the pin there that does not fall out it doesn't fall out it stays in so Next, what we're going to do, take our upper receiver, take our charging handle, and you'll see if you come in close, there's two grooves. I don't know if you can see those or not. There's two little grooves here, but in, that'll match the charging handle. All you have to do is slide this in and go down in those grooves, okay? Then, next, what you're going to want to do is you want to place this in with the gas tube facing forward and slide it in. Make sure, by the way, that this is pulled back and that this is underneath of the gas tube. Because if that is there, it'll just block it from going in. So, pull this back. Grab our upper receiver, charging handle, place down, gas tube facing forward, and then it should just slide in real easy, and you can see we are set, just check it, make sure it works real good. Once you know that you're good to go, and that this is all set, you're going to put down your upper receiver once that's all put together and then you're going to want to take your lower receiver and re-punch those pins back out and it's fairly easy when it's put, taken in half just to grab the tips of the pins and pull them with your fingers and then what you're going to want to do is take i find it is best is if you grab your upper receiver and then you take your front pin you go down and you set that one first that acts like a swivel so that way you know you have to that has to get set right and you're not going to miss your alignment and then just push your back pin back in and it's as easy as that and you have a completely field stripped and cleaned your ar this is my rifle there are many like it but this one is mine thanks for watching